Hi Sagittarius. I took a day yesterday. I missed y'all, but ugh, this healing business has been a lot, but I am commanding it to be complete this weekend. <laughs> I am. I am such. So let's get into it. Let's get into the weekend messages, especially since we are also unboxing a new deck. Um, it is the Zodiac 108 deck by In Intuit Tarot. Um, they're a custom brand. I I really love them. Like I have a, a few of their decks, and um, you know their cards are a little thinner because they use paper. It feels like feels like paper almost, but I don't know. There's just something I love about their deck. So if you're interested in that, you might want to look them up, you know, through Intuit Tarot because I don't think that they, they might sell on Etsy, but anyways, and the Real Talk Tarot and let's get into it. Um, you might actually be feeling a little sleepy this weekend <laughs> because the energy representing the weekend is Pisces. Um, but it could, that could really provide some good feeling energies between you and other people but i i do feel as if you are maybe even i mean you could be isolating as well because we know pisces does that uh because there's a lot of energy here about protecting yourself but also that you're being protected like, I don't know if you know that, but there's a lot of Aries energy here. A lot of Aries energy, which would say, you know, a lot of Mars. You know, and uh, so S.H.I.E.L.D. is here with shooting star. It's about getting what you want and really seeing movement forward. I feel like there's someone that's going to help you. So... If there's been like a dream or whatever you've been trying to get, maybe it's been kind of slow moving. I, I feel as if you are going to be getting support here. It does feel as if there is someone helping you. An alliance, if you will. And look, now, the, yes, this says spring. Um, but it actually talks about the new moon too. And uh, the signs for that are Aries, Taurus, Gemini. So, the, you know, it could be that an Aries is actually really helping you here. Um, which is interesting, but I feel like this is a person, one that you very much feel aligned with really helping you. And the new moon starts, I believe it's the third so we will definitely do a new moon, Virgo new moon. And from what I hear, like this is our last chance to manifest because we are entering eclipse season. And we don't, and what I mean by that, we're always manifesting, but we don't do active work towards it. So if you do rituals or call things in, we don't do that during eclipses. <laughs> Because eclipses are too volatile. And we do have <coughs> Uranus in Taurus retrograding. And that can be really surprising. And I, I feel like, you know, you might really be surprised by this help. To be honest. Because Aries definitely, I think, like, are used to doing things themselves. Are used to having to do everything themselves and you know this could have been something that started in the spring as well but I do I feel like this person is really going to help you I do you know it could also be a relationship I mean we will take a look and we will clarify those energies a little bit but yeah, I mean, in terms of your energy this weekend, <coughs> it's very interesting because it's just the Five of Swords and the Moon. I, I 
feel like you maybe don't know who to trust at this point. You know? Maybe you are unclear on who you can trust. Or even whether or not something is going to push through. Whether you're going to get what you want. And there is a sense that you are kind of tired. With the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Swords, like... Just kind of the sense that every time you try to move something forward or get somewhere that something happens to slow it down or <coughs> or almost block you and I look at I look at this energy with this woman look how she's looking at him <laughs> like she hates him or something and I feel like that might be people standing in your way and you might uh, there might be and you're being honest with yourself at this point ace of swords <coughs> that you can't like um just hang in and wait for people to come around that's not happening anymore you know that's fine if you you know and you're you may be trying to figure that out trying to figure out how to get somewhere with something and how to overcome challenges and, and definitely how to, you know, not feel like you are constantly being held back. But <coughs> I do kind of feel like you feel held back by others. Uh, but what you are doing this weekend is getting together with a group of people. Ten of Cups, which could be family or just spending time with people who make you feel good, who, like the world, they're showing you what's possible. You know, maybe you have, and it, it does, it feels like on the one hand, there are people who just constantly throw, throw darts in your way or forks in your road, and then, I don't know, it feels like. You're starting to see a way out and, and so you definitely are figuring out this who is for you who's not for you that's definitely happening now the two of swords the three of cups the death card and the king of swords it's like someone is coming out in support of you someone you know maybe I feel like whoever this person is, you're really not expecting them to do this because this is not someone who is very, because they're the king of swords, they usually, you know, stay in the background. Maybe, you know, it could also be someone you haven't talked to in a while. Oh, two of cups on the bottom with the ace of cups, the queen of cups, the seven of pentacles. Interesting. Yeah, it just it feels like you're not expecting this. They're, this person is giving you support. And it's kind of like this... Um, I don't know if it's a change of heart or what. But it feels like this is the person supporting you. This is your alliance. Mm-hmm. at this unlikely and it's 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 like it's something that you thought would never happen and you definitely are receiving surprising communication um like whoever this alliance is they very much do want to help you. And like, it's not something that's going to happen right now. So whatever it, this is that is happening, whatever wish is being fulfilled for you, the, 
there is a little bit of a delay on it, like a weight on it. Wow. Okay, so let's take a look and see what this wish is that's being fulfilled. Ew. What's this wish? What's this wish? Okay. Someone's opening up to you about how they feel. Hmm. So this could be a friend or it could be a love option for you, but this person is like really going to bring some change into your life. And it, it, it does happen suddenly. I do feel like you're not, not expecting it. And I do also feel like you're happy about it. I do feel like you're happy about it, Saj. Hmm. Interesting. But I do also feel like you might be a little suspicious. So, you know, that will be as it resonates for you, Saj, because we're not all trying to do the same thing. But whatever it is, they have the power to make things go faster. Okay, I'm here for that. I'm here for that, Sagittarius. So we're going to take a look at your mystery cards. Look at this, Sag. The mystery unfolding is, it's going to seem dramatic, but someone is coming to visit you and... They may be relocating to where you are. Um, and it, there's just something about, maybe it's about this person. Maybe they tend to be dramatic. But this is something that really makes you feel good. Wow, a lot going on with people this weekend, for sure, for sure. So let's take a look at relationships real quick. And we will um, do an extended for this. Sagittarius, what is the weekend love energy? Weekend love, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> weekend love for Sagittarius. Oh, I can't wait to be a hundred percent and get back on track. Weekend love for Sagittarius. Mm. Weekend love for Sagittarius. Someone loves your energy. And you don't even know it. Secret admirer. Yeah, you're attracting a secret admirer. Mm, friendship. So this could be someone that's already a friend. Giving you an apology. Illusions is reversed. Mm. And this is something you actually want. They're clearing something up for you. <coughs> Could be they're getting on the right path. Interesting. So, if I see you in the extended, I'll be super happy. If not, I'm glad you took this little walk with me today. Let's get a mantra. What is Sagittarius's mantra? I'm going to try to do a new moon reading this um, today, too. Yes. What is the mantra for Sagittarius? I bring peace with me wherever I go. 
Amen, amen. <laughs> okay, Sagittarius, I hope this really helps you and you're having the best weekend ever. Toodles.